Hello guys, welcome to Elite Expertise YouTube channel. I'm Harika Bimarpu, practicing consultant pharmacist in Australia. I work as a clinical pharmacist, clinical pharmacist educator for Monash Health Hospital in Melbourne. So I've got Pooja with me. Um, so we as an online training platform have been training pharmacists for CAPS exam overseas pharmacists and also for Australian intern written exam preparation and Australian intern pharmacist oral exam preparation. So I've got Pooja with us who is practicing as a intern pharmacist uh, in Melbourne based uh, retail pharmacy and she cleared her pharmacist intern pharmacist written exam and her oral exam in her very first attempt. Um, and she's with us to share her experience and journey. Uh, it's indeed tough time for interns to clear the exams. Uh, and Pooja is one of those students who have aced the exam in her very first attempt. So we will um, know more about Pooja. Congratulations, Pooja, on your success. Thank you, Thank you so much, Lynn. So now you're going to become a general registered pharmacist. How do you feel? Like, you know, you were an intern pharmacist till now. But from tomorrow, everything will change. Like you're going to apply for general registration, practice independently. No one is supervising you. You're a boss of pharmacy. How are you going to feel? Like, how do you feel about yourself? Um, feeling like uh, I'm a bit of like nervous and scared as well because like uh, when I was like intern, there was like uh, still like even if I'm like registered, there will be like my other pharmacists who will be helping me. And that I'm feeling like scared, nervous and motivated, all like a mixture of feelings. Yes, yeah, so it's a mixture of feelings. You're nervous, scared, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Uh, once you start, yes. you will choose, you'll be fine, I'm sure. And you'll be the mm. best pharmacist ever, I can tell. Thank you. Okay, so let's start. Regarding the oral exam, um, which part made you feel overwhelming or difficult to crack? Because you have just given your intern pharmacist oral exam. And you've achieved your result and cleared the exam in very first attempt. So, which part made you feel overwhelming or difficult to crack? And how did Elite Expertise help you in building your confidence for intern pharmacist oral exam? Uh, the last part was uh, I found a bit uh, like tough uh, because, like, they, uh, you know, like for part A and part B, they are like. Are you talking about like problem solving and communication part? Uh, yes, that one. Uh, for the other parts, there is like. A bit of like limitation in the questions, but for part C, they are like it's very much vague and uh, there's a lot of brainstorming in that case. So it's I found it that that, that part a bit challenging. And then, with, like you and I said, the, the way you have like pract uh, uh, made us uh, like we practice together and the, the type of questions and the uh, like the type of question you used to ask while practicing uh there was like the horizon was too big like uh, uh the way you have, we have to like do the brainstorming uh, that made us like practice a lot and then that made it uh, too much easier uh, much easier for like part c yeah problem solving and communication a lot of interns face tough time in problem solving communication of the oral exam and mm. she has shared her experience um, so she basically talks about increasing the horizon of practice based questions so that when you like, you know, if you're used to tough questions in the practice, uh, in the mm. training, in the coaching, once you see the exam, it will be very easy for you. Um, great, Pooja. So yeah, once like from the beginning, uh, I had once like screened mm. all the past questions, but uh, like after screening all the past questions, when I started practicing with you, yeah. like both of you, then I was so nervous because I had all the questions like, uh, wrong so basically the way I was practicing uh, that wasn't working so once I had uh, started practicing with you and got used to it then it the questions uh, became like easier and the way I was practicing uh, that has changed like practicing with you have helped me a lot yeah so you found the mocks useful like simulated mock practices before the exam where you yeah. in clearing the oral exam so great yeah um, how did you prepare yourself to tackle tackle legal and ethical scenarios in primary healthcare? Okay, so for primary healthcare, I used to practice like with the like real patients. Whenever they used to come uh, in the pharmacy, I used to like uh, recommend products and then also like counseling things. And I also used to, uh, I also like practice fast questions as well. And apart from this, I also like checked uh, all the like products in the pharmacy. And then I used to think like what sort of uh, like conditions they can be used 
so like in that way i practice for part a and part b i just uh, practice from like past questions and then what sort of like scenarios that can uh, come in like real uh, real like while practicing so those sort of things were like uh, practicing guides yeah yes so it's all practice which helped you in hearing the exam yeah so yeah. How, the last question is how strongly do you recommend elite expertise for australian indian pharmacist exam preparation and any special message and talk about your future plans i like i highly recommend this like elite expertise for the intern pharmacist because it has uh, helped me a lot uh, to like uh, the way i practice the way i like uh, how i see the questions i how, how i should think about a question like and about a condition uh, elite expertise helps has helped me a lot and yes i recommend everybody to join elite expertise thank you so much and all the best for your future and even now you're going to be a fully qualified pharmacist so i hope yes, the patients you. will benefit from you and you will make an impeccable like um, impact in the community pharmacy practice in australia we wish you all the very best pooja from team elite expertise thank you thank you thank you so much thank you